All right, so here he is. Rick is in again with that review. Mission Impossible, Dead Reckoning, part one, right? That's it's a mouthful. Right, it's right there in the name. There it is. And you know, I've gone on record many a time saying how much I hate when they cut a movie into two parts, forcing you have to buy two tickets. And it's in the name. This is part one. Right. You have to wait till next year for part two. But if a movie is this good, I'll pay twice to see it. It, is, it is the best action movie of the, of the year so far. And, and it starts, uh, you know, there was a time when we could just have some world leader with a bomb and everybody goes, oh, we got to stop it. Right. Well, we've, we've had to increase that as the world has changed. <laughs> so in this film, there's a uh, artificial intelligence who has taken over the internet. Whoa. And Tom Cruise has to track down a special key to turn it off. Uh, and he's the only one who wants to destroy the key. All the other world leaders want to take it because they can control the world. So what we end up having here is Tom Cruise at, uh, fighting the whole entire world, wow. both the good, bad, and bad guys. The film starts with an action sequence in the desert. It's a, it's a great shootout, but it is tame compared to what keeps coming after that. There is a chase scene through the streets of Rome. Now we saw that earlier this year with uh, Fast 10, mm. where there was a chase scene. That, that thing came across more like a, an episode of the Roadrunner and Coyote. It looked too character. This chase scene is amazing to watch. And you gotta keep in mind, Cruz has always said, I am going to do my own stunts. Right. So he's driving the car, and he's driving it one-handed because he's chained to Hallie Atwood, Stop who's the it. female in this. So he's having to drive across. Oh, <laughs> it's and then you think, oh my gosh, this is as big as it gets. Then there's a, tr a sequence on the train that defies description. It would ruin trying to explain what it is. All I can tell you is it's a continuation of Cruz's character trying to, uh, going on this mission to find this key, and he's being trying. People are trying to stop him right and left. Wow. Yeah, I, I'm sold. I, it's a, it's sold amazing. <laughs> and again, you think at this point, you know, crew, if things could be wearing down. Well, the director is Christopher McQuarrie, who has done two past Mission Impossible movies and several other Tom Cruise okay. movies. So those two get it. They understand each other. I think an Oscar should, though, be given to the person who's the safety inspector on this <laughs> Because you see Cruz jump off the side of a mountain with a parachute, and you know if he smacks into that mountain, the, the franchise is dead. Not right. only is he dead. Right. And yet he keeps doing his How own stuff. How old stunts. is this guy? He's a, he, he could uh, qualify for ARP. Okay. I, I'm blown away. He does not age. And the fact that he keeps doing his own stunts and is he, truly incredible. And if you're looking for it, he, he does that Tom Cruise run. And uh. Nobody runs better than Tom Cruise. <laughs> The so, specific movie run? <laughs> yeah, exactly. So between the writing, which is smart, a, okay. a great villain, Fun. wonderful action scenes. I, look, I'm giving this thing an okay. A. And you said that, you know, box offices really need this right now. They've been they a little do. down, right, this year? They, they've been down. They needed, they needed uh, Mission Impossible, Barbie, and Oppenheimer to be big. One out of three already. Okay. This should, this should be a monster hit. All right, it's out now, so you can go see Mission go see. Impossible in theaters right now. In the air conditioned theaters. In the air conditioning. There you go. Not a bad paying a ticket price to get some free AC. Exactly. That's probably going to, you're going to come out ahead. Yep. Rick, thank you so much. Have a great weekend. All right.